opposed to building standard code buildings. The question really is, um, how do we respond to climate change in the buildings that we build? I designed to CS Plus standards because it's an intensely rigorous energy efficiency standard. And if we're going to respond, then we need something that's science-based, and we need something that's performance-based. It doesn't just have one component or another, but it actually performs to a certain level, uh, and that that performance is measurable. My passion is using the best technology um, and the best in building science to model energy use in buildings and to improve building efficiency. It's one way to achieve basically a building that requires very little energy and does so and produces a high indoor quality. I think it provides greater levels of resiliency. I think it's tailored to our specific climates so we get the maximum benefit out of it. And it can also help us achieve other standards and goals like the Living Building Challenge energy pedal, for example. Part of what makes it the best is that um, it uses what I think of as what I call a dynamic energy model. Theus provides software, Wi-Fi Passive and Wi-Fi Plus, that um, really get deep into uh, the details of a project. The information that goes into designing a building is information from that region. It's weather data, it's climate data, so that when you have a house, it's not thoughtlessly constructed. It's constructed to the temperature of that region, the moisture of that region. And allow us to predict what a project will do and um, help us to design that project to be uh, the most efficient and um, the most comfortable and the best quality building. An option to get away from uh, a construction method which there's basically no technology, it's kind of a 400 year old process, to something that's more like uh, the thinking and the modeling that goes behind constructing something like an iPhone or a high technology product. And that works.